been hiking for a mile now. About a mile, we're headed to some other bay. We're in a, on an island, but the island is not so much like a beach. There's like rocks and like shit like that around, so it wasn't really what we expected, but we're probably gonna just chill out here for a night, kind of explore, and then head, uh, take a boat back to Hamilton Island, where there's actually like a resort. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still not a bad idea to come check it out. They said that there's only like 37 people living on this island right now. So, it'd be pretty cool. Hopefully to this beach we're walking to right now has a little bit of sand so we can just chill out. Ooh. Wondering why I'm wearing a long sleeve? Because there's a bunch of fucking mosquitoes everywhere. I already got bitten up like a hundred times. They don't they don't like Omar skin. He got bit once. <clears throat> We're enjoying Australia so far. You know, it's crazy, even though they speak English, uh, it's still kind of hard to understand them. <laughs> At first, they speak so fast, or they probably think we sound retarded and slow. <laughs> But yeah, the money over here looks dope. Everything is dope. People are super nice. No matter where you go, we're in Melbourne. Now we're in like the islands. Everyone's still chill. Uh, yeah, definitely get used to this. Everyone's been asking us how we've been enjoying our stay when we're at the expo. And honestly, it's super legit. Everyone's, like I said, it's super nice. Everything is clean. I don't know, it's kind of relaxing. Apparently, Nothing in this island can kill you, but it will probably fuck you up. <laughs> Yo. No, what is that? <laughs> Let's go see. <laughs> Just kicking it. I don't know what that is. Oh, he's running away. Shit. Just got to the beach here, a little private, private beach. Looking through the water, we saw baby sharks already, just chilling. I'm gonna try to get footage with my GoPro. Gotta uh, put on some bug spray, some more bug spray. Fuck, this shit's dope. got here to um, Long Island you know after a successful uh, weekend in Melbourne you know never in a million years I would you know, think I could able to, or be able to fly myself out you know to the other side of the world and do what I like to do you know, and um, with that on on top of that bring my whole staff with me from back home you know uh, it's crazy to think that you know, from where I started like three years ago to where I am now you know, I'm across the world, like living the dream, you know, having financial freedom to be uh, able to do, you know, just go relax on a deserted island. Uh, like it's all hard work 
So I'm here chilling with Omar right now. You know, after a successful weekend in Melbourne, uh, we came out pretty good. You know, the fan base there was incredible. Um, it felt like like our backyard. We felt right at home. Um, it was the right move for us to make to uh, actually come down and do the international debut in on Australia. What a lot of people came up to me and talked about too as well is like the business and entrepreneurship that I push is the um, how tight niche our family is, like our staff, our workers, our team. And that's what I want to stress out, stress about today is the, uh, like your staff, your family. You know, for me, uh, myself, as a CEO of Lifted Apparel, you know, I push that whole family vibe thing with the staff. And, you know, everyone's like, dude, how did you find these people? Uh, how did you get this person to work for you? Because they're so hardworking. And the thing is, is it, it's, it's actually really, really hard, you know, and it comes, for me, like we don't really go fishing for our staff. We actually just let it come naturally. And that's the best way to find who is gonna fit in your group. Um, because, you know, it's not an overnight thing and you can't do like extensive interviews and, and find out how they really are. It's kind of like, you never really know um, your friend until you really like become roommates or something, you know? So, but yeah, everyone's been telling us how we operate like a family and uh, what they see on social media is actually what they see in person. And that's true because, uh, you know, for our company, we, I can easily hire other people in Australia to go work our booth. But for me, I feel like if I bring my staff with me, the people that have grinded with me, it's just, it's just a lot better. You know, everyone's in the same, on the same page. We're on the same vibe. I don't know, like I, I treat everyone the same, you know, athlete, staff, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, everyone's gonna have the same opportunity to enjoy life with us, you know, and, and experience the same thing. So this is an important thing. Athlete, uh, if you're an athlete, ambassador, staff, or whoever, just a worker or a lift fit, it doesn't matter, you know, we're gonna treat you the same way. I want you to feel like you're um, one of us. No, like I want everyone to enjoy um, the things that I'm enjoying, you know, because everyone's pulling a leg staff is the one the backbone behind the business you know they're the ones that making sure the clothes are there making sure things are running smooth making sure um, just the logistics run run smooth so everyone's pulling a leg and that's super super important you know because a lot of people can get big-headed and uh, you know just forget about the little guys and you know that just sucks because without them you know you wouldn't be here right now so for for those who are looking to start businesses or you know go on their own ventures you know make sure whoever you pick on board is, you know, like I told a couple guys at the expo, it's not a, you know, make sure you really thoroughly uh, enjoy being with the person, you know, no matter the business, treat them all the same because like I said, you know, you may have the best idea in the world, but it takes other moving parts to become successful. And those other moving parts are gonna rely on people. So yeah, build good relationships and, you know, build a good team and just go kill it.